So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Cam? Cam? Hi, uh, my name's Mac, I'm just, I'm such a big fan, man, I, honestly, I, I watch you on YouTube, you're great. Hey, nice to meet you, man. No, really, really, you are, you're fantastic. Hey, um, Cam Wolf, Wolf, that's a cool name, is that, uh, is that your real name? Yeah. I bet you'd like to know, wouldn't you? I, I I mean, I was just... I was. Why don't you mind your own fucking business? I was just trying to make... I'm sorry if I did... I just... I'm sorry. Uh, if I said anything to offend you, I, I, I think I should go. Yeah, maybe, maybe you should. Maybe you should. Get the fuck out. Hey! You stay the fuck away from me. What's shaking, booktube? My name is Cam. Welcome to another video. Today we're talking about pen names. Should you have one? Yes. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Did I bamboozle you? The topic of whether you should have a pen name or not is super, super easy because there is a bunch of pros, there's not really any cons, but even with that in mind, it still ultimately, completely, entirely comes down to what you want. What do you want? It's super subjective, but at the very least I may as well try and convince you of why I think you should at least entertain the idea of using a pen name. At the end of the day, the argument can be made that a pen name is not necessary. And, hey, yeah, you'd be right. You'd be right. But, it's still very commonly and excessively so done within the writing industry, within the media industry, within the creative industry at large. I mean, Eminem's real name isn't Eminem, is it? Brad Pitt probably has a stupid real name as well. People choose fake names or stage names pretty much for the same reason that strippers don't use their real name. Because at the end of the day, aren't we all really just shaking our ass for money? The first and most compelling reason for using a pen name is anonymity. If by some miracle you manage to bust through the ceiling and become uber famous, then you probably don't want people to have easy access to your real and personal life. Especially in this day and age, you know, when, when technology is ruling the world, when that naughty picture that you took last week can be leaked out to hundreds of thousands of people quite easily. Any dipshit with a computer and access to YouTube can learn how to access other people's cloud storage. And sometimes all they need is a name and a general idea of where you live or who you're friends with, and they can narrow it down. If you have a pen name, chances are they're still going to be able to find that information, but they're going to have a much harder time doing so. But as sinister as the whole hacking idea is, it really can come down to just a simple preference of not wanting people to be able to find your personal Facebook. Please stop looking me up on Facebook, because they want to separate the art and the- Ooh, voice crack. Because they want to separate the art and the audience for their art from their friends and family. So anonymity, that's the first thing. It puts up a bit of a wall between you and people who might want to have access to your personal life. The second reason for using a pen name is separation of your art. There are tons and tons of authors who choose to use separate pen names when they're writing very different types of work. And there's a very good reason for this. You might notice in one of the last videos I did when I wrote that Bizarro book in one day, God help me. I chose to use a different pen name to my normal one because I didn't want the Bizarro book to pop up next to my proper fantasy fiction books. But aside from that, even the massive and really, really famous authors do this even though they could be sacrificing quite a lot of uh, profit, quite a lot of purchases off their name alone. But they do this because they don't want people reading that new book with the expectation that it's going to be like the book that, or books that they published under their other pen name. If Stephen King, who writes a lot of horror and mind 
fuckery wants to write a book one day about a romance between a, a chicken and a farmer, then he probably wouldn't want to put that under Stephen King because people are going to go in expecting that in the end of the book, the chicken is going to eat the farmer. And when that didn't happen, they would be disappointed and they would be like, what the fuck happened? Using a different pen name creates a bit of a new clean palette of expectation. Look at this shit. My douchebag friends are at this big music festival at the moment that I really wanted to go to, but they got free tickets because because one of them knows the band, whoop de fucking do and now they're sending me all these Snapchats of them having fun at this event. God damn it, they're backstage! They're backstage! I'm sorry, back to the video. Another reason for using a pen name is if you are writing a book as a group of people, sometimes it can be anywhere up from like two to four to six people, maybe more, I don't know, maybe you've got a small village writing this book, but obviously you don't want to list every single person's name under there, so much like choosing a name for a team, you could publish the book under one name. People are more likely to pick up a book if it has a bit more of a name, so obviously you wouldn't just create a team name for your group of people and put that on the book. Not only do you run the risk of people confusing the author for the title of the book in that case, but I just don't think a lot of people are going to pick up a book by the alley cats. So yeah, using a pen name can be a way for a group of people writing a book to give it a bit more credibility. Another reason for a pen name, and the funny one, is that you could have a weird name. Like the old classic uh, Dick Richard. Probably don't want to be putting Dick Richard on a book unless you want to be copying jokes about that for the rest of your life. Unless your book has a lot to do with dicks, then I guess that's a blessing in disguise. If you think that your name is a bit silly and might create a foundation of people not taking your work seriously, then it's beneficial to look into using a pen name. For example, if somehow you had the remarkably unique name J. Christoph like J. Christoph, and you would have put out a book under the name J. Christoph. I think it's fair to say that you wouldn't have as many sales as the Big J. The Big J could be a new nickname for you, buddy. And Small J's book is going to be diluted and pretty much never found through the basis of search. Having a unique name or one that's not already big in the publishing industry is very important in setting yourself apart. If people go looking for your books, they need to find your books and not someone else's. That's pretty much the meat of uh, this conversation, I guess. It, it, again, it's a, not a big deal at the end of the day. If you want to use your real name on a book, go ahead. I think I've made a pretty good argument for why you shouldn't, but meh, it's your party, man. The only other two things I would quickly mention is that A, some people seem to have the false idea that using a pen name is somehow removing you and your real name from any kind of legal repercussions if you were to, let's say, infringe on copyright. That's just not true. That's completely and quantifiably false, so just don't. Don't break the law under a pen name thinking that that'll save you, it won't. And B, this is more of a tip, just don't be a bit too douchey with choosing a pen name. I know that we've all wanted to probably be named Max Power at some point of our lives, but try and keep it grounded. You don't want a tacky name because, like I mentioned before, people might avoid your story because they refuse to take it seriously. Just because your pen name isn't your actual name, I don't think that means that it's not you leaving some sort of legacy for yourself. That goes into a whole different philosophical conversation about what is in a name. Do we die when we take our last breath or when someone says our name for the last time? It doesn't matter. Using pen names good, not using pen names who cares? Thanks so much for watching this inconsequential and only slightly helpful video. I hope it was, I don't know, a better use of your time than whatever else it was you were gonna do today. You know, I have a lot of other videos as well, like 200. A lot of writing tip videos as well. One of my favorite writing tip videos.